Hello, my name is Robert Knowles, and I'm a professor in the Department of Chemistry at Princeton University. I'm really thrilled to have a chance to work with the Dreyfus Foundation to be able to share some of our research with you today. The work in my group is broadly focused on synthetic organic chemistry. What does that mean exactly? Organic chemistry is often defined as the study of carbon-containing molecules. Fortunately for us, organic molecules are literally everywhere, and organic chemistry is a central part of many scientific disciplines. Most of the molecules society requires do not exist in nature. We have to make them. This is where synthetic chemistry comes in. Synthetic chemists like me are interested in either making new molecules with specific functions, or inventing new reactions that will allow us to make molecules more efficiently, cheaply, and in a sustainable and environmentally responsible fashion. The properties of molecules that lead to function are often related to their structures, specific connectivity of all the atoms in the molecule, and their orientations in three-dimensional space. As such, controlling the properties of molecules requires us to be able to manipulate their structures and put different atoms and groups into specific arrangements. Success in synthetic organic chemistry is all about controlling structure at the atomic scale, and in many ways what we do is akin to molecular engineering. To make molecules, we employ reactions, where the electrons and bonds and chemical substrates are rearranged to form more stable structures. Ideally, we can take chemical feedstocks that are cheap, abundant, and renewable and convert them into valuable and useful products. What my lab does specifically is to develop new chemical reactions that connect molecules in ways that we couldn't achieve before. Our specific expertise is in a class of reactions known as proton-coupled electron transfers, or PCET reactions for short. A PCET is a mechanism used in nature to carry out really difficult redox chemistry. In fact, PCET plays a key role in, in photosynthetic water oxidation, the biosynthesis of DNA, and many other challenging transformations. We've adapted nature's blueprint for these reactions and generalized it for a much broader class of substrates, which we can now activate and engage in reactions that would be challenging to realize using more conventional approaches. We're hopeful that the tools and technologies that we develop will help other chemists access new molecular structures that in turn might create new valuable functions.